Right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Reader. So we're gonna look at three today. The first two are relatively connected. We're looking at RR on the screen right now and then serve will be the next one. And then I'm gonna look at Polestar one more time, PSNY. I think that actually might have been on the last video I covered as well, but things are getting a little interesting there. And really just in general, the EVs are heating up and they're, they're maintaining, right? So um, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty nice thing to see, all right? All three of these are tech stocks, so I very, very quickly want to show it just in case I don't later. Look, NASDAQ's doing all right. NASDAQ is holding the eight moving average really well. As we're seeing the 20 come up, we're, I think, going to see the 50 start to, to curl on up. And I mean, this thing is, is it, it, it came on down, it came back up, it came down, not as low. It was able to hold the 100 this time. And, and I mean, so far, so good right when you look at the s p 500 as well pretty much mirroring right it, it doesn't quite come as low as the 200 right but same 100 moving average bounce same holding of the um eight moving average and i think a better view of that 20 and 50 starting to curl on up as well right so i'm liking the nasdaq i'm liking the s p 500 i'm i'm comfortable looking at these stocks right and you know rr had a <clears throat> excuse me had a real, real big news day. I think it was actually probably this Monday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll talk about the NVIDIA tweet and what that was. And then um, really that nice little uptrend behind it, right? Bunch of moving averages is obviously going to be the, the big thing I talk about, right? Serve had a big day and Serve really did two things. One, it basically maintained the, the horizontal support and resistance lines that we were expecting. And I think what's more important to me, we maintained the eight and the 20, right? Now look, today was a big day. You know, I don't wanna get too, too excited off a single candle, right? But um, we are trying and really the next place up would be in the tens if it continues, right? So. Um, it's a little thick right here, and, and again, I'm gonna say it again. You don't want to get too too excited off a single candle, but yeah, today was a was a big big move here, right? And then Polestar, this is looking really nicely. I mean, just riding the eight really well. The single moment that it didn't, we've been talking about the 200. I'll talk about it again, but the 200, the 20, it's 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 looking really nice as we seemingly have taken that that resistance as well, right? So some some nice tickers across these three, some decent indices behind them. That's not a bad, bad thing, right? So before we do go any further though, and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions of what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can, please subscribe to this channel. Share this video online with your friends. Comment good or bad if you disagree. Look, anything you can do helps so, so much with these YouTube algorithms. But for real, just being here, giving me your time, oh, I'm so, so grateful for it, all right? So let's get into RR, and I think this is a great view, all right? It, it, it's obviously been a while. It's the beginning of August when I'm about to talk about, right? And we're basically knocking on the door at the beginning of October, right? So a couple months ago, but crazy red, big, big green. Not as crazy, but a lot of red, 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 red. This thing has the makings for what could be big, fast ups and downs, right? And look, I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. I don't like it when we're under so many moving averages, but hey, we've seemingly done the, the, the first kind of step, which was at least trying to get over the eight moving average, right? I use the word trying specifically because look, all this really has is one decent candle, not even a fantastic, candle, right? That one was a doji yesterday. I know they're both over, but that does not count to me, right? So we still need a little bit more to believe, but hey, seemingly we've been able to carry Monday, right? And I say carry Monday, give me a second, NVIDIA. No, 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 no. Um, NVDA. I know I said this. Um, give me a sec. NVIDIA. I'm so sorry. You would think I would like practice some stuff. There we go. I know we talked about it there. This was the tweet. 
So I flashed this on the last video, I'll flash it again. This is an official gold checkmark NVIDIA account. This is not the main one you can argue, but this is definitely a division of NVIDIA. Robotics is obviously a very, very important part of NVIDIA. I mean, AI drives a lot of robotics, right? So if you wanna say AI is the most important thing, you better believe there's a lot of AI in robotics as well, right? So. RR, the stock that we're looking at, they actually put the original tweet and then lo and behold, NVIDIA retweets it. They tag them and they're they're talking about the power of, of whatever, right? Do I know what they're talking about? Am I pretending to be smart enough to understand all the science behind this? No, not at all, right? But what we were looking for is seemingly what's come, right? Look, we, we, we could have done better on the uptrend and a lot of that is the volume and I'll, I'll get to the volume shortly, all right? But we, we have a lot of moving averages right here and, and more than anything, we've actually been below every single one, right? The fifth one's all the way up here. We've been below all the moving averages for a full two weeks and realistically, if that NVIDIA news didn't come, that green, green, green probably would have brought us red, red, red down to 50 cents. Like that NVIDIA tweet definitely saved it. And more than anything, like I said, it's given us the ability to hold a decent uptrend. Look, this is a 6% day. That's what we're looking at today, right? This is a doji and it was at least a 2% day. This was almost a 5% day. This was another, like, these were very solid days behind it, right? So not the biggest and, and you know, all that, but hey, not too, too shabby, right? I'll, I'll, I'll continue up here, but I wanna come down here, right? The volume pop came again from this. We can get into the timing, if I'm not mistaken, it was around, yeah, I literally have the screenshot, lovely. The tweet happens at 3.01 Eastern. You can see at 3.01 on the one minute on RR, nothing, 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 all through the day, nothing, 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 boom. Three o'clock on the one minute, it just pops and then we see the drop behind it, right? So, boom, that, and then was that the right day? Am I looking at the right day? 923, lovely, that's the 23rd right there, right? So um, this doji did the day, and one thing you hear me say often, all right, is after a doji, you tend to hear the truth. So far, the truth is saying this thing wants to continue up, all right? Look, the next thing that really is gonna need to happen, I think is we're gonna need to get into the 107 range, all right? Now, obviously I just skipped the 20 moving average and by no means do I wanna pretend that this is not an easy line, right? But I need to basically, like I can't just get like a 99 cent close on Monday. Obviously that's gonna be really good, right? That's almost a 10% gain right there, right? Another nine cents on a 90 cent stock, roughly, right? Eight cents, you get what I'm saying? I need to actually get, cause look, if you're looking at the box over there, the, the 50 moving average is sitting at 106 and it's relatively flat. It's not like this 20 where I'm gonna believe, all right, we're probably gonna go down a couple cents on Monday. I genuinely believe we're probably gonna sit at 106, if not maybe 105 come Monday, right? I'm not here pretending I know the math behind these lines. I'm just kind of looking at the slope and guessing, right? So I think we're gonna open basically 105 and again, I need to start to believe we're gonna come back. Cause look, one thing you hear me say, and you can kind of see it here, it's not the best, right? But when you have too many lines, and believe me, four out of the five is too many lines, you go from the top of the lines to the bottom of the lines and hopefully back to the top of the lines, right? Like I wanna believe that we have a shot at 114, 115, I really do. I think getting around 105 is gonna make me believe that, you know what I mean? So. Um, that That is what I'm looking for, for sure. Um, give me a sec, my wife is texting me. One sec, I gotta pause this, sorry. Dun, 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 dun. Cool, sorry about that, my apologies. But yeah, like I said, look, if we can get from under a dollar all the way up to a buck 14, buck 15, that's, that's, that's a beautiful percentage, right? Again, I'm, I'm hoping that this green, 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 red, red, red lets us essentially gap up or jump the 20 and, 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 and take this 105, all right? Look, RSI is looking a little bit better, all right? RSI went from the bottom of nothing, living at a, a 13, right? 14, basically. We're back up at 35. I don't want to just go down, back up, 
just to come back down, right? Like sometimes I talk about a healthy cool down. This, this could be an unhealthy cool up. You know what I mean? Like you, you're super low, you go up, you're super low, you come up, you go back super low. It's not really a good view right here, but you get the point, right? So make me believe in 114, take me to 105. That's the goal. We need volume, all right? And volume needs to be around 19 million at the bare bone minimum. Oh, by the way, Red Alert 2. I don't know who remembers that game. That's what that is right there. I've been, uh, I've been uh, enjoying that. I need, oh, come on. Is the numlock not on? Is that what's wrong here? All right, let's do it like this. Nine million shares in a seven hour day. I need about, let's call it three million shares by that second hour. I would love to be a lot closer to five million shares in that second hour, right? And I mean, we had a full day's worth at basically five million, right? So if we can get a day's worth in a couple hours, you can see the strength that would be behind that speaking volume wise, right? When we look at the weekly, it's it's not as many moving averages, right? But the one thing I do wish we ended with, because again, obviously today's Friday, we have now closed the weekly candle. We're still under the eight moving average. Like I wish we closed four cents higher. I wish we close, sorry, five cents higher, right? I wish we closed at 96 cents. 96 cents would have put us over the eight moving average on the weekly. Hey, look, again, kind of the same comments. Green, 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 red, red, red. Let me gap up over this and let me start making my way up. You can see that, <clears throat> excuse me, that, that same 114 on the weekly is the same 114 on the daily, right? So I think 114 is a realistic target. I think we just need some good help on Monday. We need some good volume on Monday. We need the NVIDIA to, to the NVIDIA tweet to, to sustain and continue, right? So, so far so good. I think so far so good is the easy comment. We need more. I will easily say the death line is 83 cents, okay? If we start to fall into that like 81, 80 cent world, oof, I would be very scared because again, red, 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 green, 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 red, 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 we might be talking 50 cents very quickly if we start to fall below that 80 cent support, right? So I'll draw the line. Let's just draw the line and let, let's, let's draw that at 75. I think that's a little too low. Yeah, I'll take the 80. Look, risk reward tolerances, right? I think personally 80 is a little rough. I guess let's keep this technically sound. That's the better line to draw. 75 cents is the lowest this can actually go. Um, again, risk reward tolerances, right? You're never hearing me the word use the words buy, sell, hold. We're just sharing opinions here, right? So let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Even if you disagree, let's come into serve, all right? And serve robotics, I mean, there's there's a baseline theory that I, I sincerely believe, right? It's why I like technical analysis. It's why I like these parabolic stocks, right? I sincerely believe if a stock can go from $2 all the way up to $20, if it knows how and it's run in the past, believe me, it has the ability and the power to do it again, all right? Now, granted, it took well over 2 million shares on a single day to do it, and it took a very sustained 100 million shares for about a week, give or take, right? So it's not like it did it randomly and by itself, but the interest, the volume, it's been here before and it can do it again if the situation, the technicals, and more than anything, the volume is there, all right? So things are getting interesting. Things are for sure getting interesting and I think I'm really excited to talk about this one, all right? Before though, if you can please share, if you can subscribe to the video, um, or to whatever, you get what I'm trying to say. Let's just get into this. Okay, serve. There is, there is a, 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 there's another baseline rule. This is, I might do this as a knowledge center one. I've, I, um, I, I, I've lost so much money and I've missed out on really good runs because I've gotten too excited or too scared about a single candle. When I stress confirmation, 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 believe me, it's, it's, it is for a reason. I didn't wake up one day and just say, all right, let's do this, right? So 
Um, this is a big, important candle. Obviously, it's really easy to focus on the percentage. That's a monster double-digit number, right? I know it's not like the, the 30s, the 50s, the 70s, the triple digits we see sometimes, but this is a big candle right here, all right? This is a candle that is maintaining support, that is breaking a golden line resistance. And I'll, I'll, I'll go back and I'll show you why I made that one a, a yellow golden color, right? But we're over it. We definitely close, I, I would say relatively significantly over it, right? It's not like we close at 842 or something like that, right? So I gotta close my door one second. Um, but yeah, there is there is thing there are things to like. You can see that we are now sorry, I zoomed out for a reason. There is green over red and green over red and that baby divergence, right? Divergence just means two lines going away from each other. And we want the divergence to be this. We want to believe that the green's gonna go up, 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 and the red's gonna stay flat or even go down, right? So both of these are nice little divergences. We just need a little bit more, right? This is really close to the positive line. And yeah, if you start to diverge well, you'll be positive in no time, right? And this is only a 60. As I zoom back, I mean, we were living in the 90s, let alone the fact that if we just get to a baseline 80, there's good, good room between 60 and 80, right? 59 and 80, whatever. Volume's just been, the, and I'm going to zoom, I'm sorry, so I, I, I get really annoyed on the zoom. Sorry about that. Volume's been a, a, an issue. All right, again, the 50 at the 50 day average of volume. This is the C in an ABCDF classroom right here. This is the average kid in the class, the top of the bell curve. This is not the best student. This is not the worst student. All I'm asking is to be the average student and we can't even do that. We need to be over 20 million shares, right? You can see that's the 20 and the white lines over it. We're, we're under 50% of what we should be doing. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm glad that we're starting to grow, right? I'm glad that this Friday was significantly better than most of the last two weeks, even when you always hear me call Friday a loser day, right? So um, there are so many things to like up here and down here. The important thing, one more time, you can't get too, too excited about a single candle, all right? The biggest candle to the left, this guy right here in the middle of September, closes at $8.67, the, the top number right there. We're actually below that. So I'm glad we're over the moving averages. I'm glad we're over the resistance line. We couldn't quite get over the biggest candle to the left, right? And again, two out of three ain't bad, but hey, if you can get three out of three, that's obviously a beautiful thing, right? If you can start to get a positive MACD and even lower number and better volume, that's even better, right? That's, that's, that's what we do here, right? But um, this is an interesting setup. This is a real interesting setup. Why was that the golden line? You would think I would know. Interesting. Hmm. I thought there was gonna be a cooler answer. I thought it was gonna be the IPO thing. Um, I don't really know why I made that golden. Well, I hyped that. I'm, I'll be real honest, I hyped that. Maybe I gotta go back and watch the last video. I don't remember why I did that. It happens, is what it is. Nonetheless, all right, what I think I'm looking for, let me zoom out a little bit and think. So what's this line here? You close at 940. Is that the wick of today? No, the, the high of the, okay. So we need to close at $9.40, $9.40 on Monday so that I would believe we can come all the way up to almost 11, right? You can see it. I'm basically clicking a little bit higher than where the red line is because it kind of looks like it's going up. As I click there, it's also basically 50% of this candle right here. And that's that's one of the bigger ones, right? So um, I, I, I think 1050 is a good target if, again, we can get into that 940 area close. I still have a line at here at, at, at 12, 12, right? And I do think even hitting both of those with a good 60 RSI, if the divergence keeps going and things look good, maybe even this $12.12 .12 line might be the real target, right? And again, it's nothing but green, 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 and red, red, red from there, right? So there's a lot of interesting things going on. But if we were to fail, I can see us coming right back down to $8, right? 
I don't know if it would come back down to 750. I think eight should hold and then eight would bring us a question of can eight bounce us back or or would we come down to 740? So um, again, I think there's more things here saying this thing might want to go up. I also think if RR, which again, I don't know if you just fast forward to this thing, right? They had some NVIDIA connection. Um, if RR can build on the NVIDIA connection, that's a robotic stock. Serve is a robotic stock. All of a sudden, the robotic sector might start to look hot if one or the other starts to pop, right? So it is what it is, right? Sector strength is another thing I often talk about. So dang, this was a 20 minute video, you're lying. All right. I'm going to do Polestar in a separate, well, I'll do Pol Polestar here real quick. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions, even if you disagree. Let's take a look at Polestar real quick. Look, I literally just talked about this one on my last video, so I don't have to think, I don't think I have to be as long, but so far, so good is, is really the echoing theme as I'm looking at, at Polestar right now, all right? Um, zooming out, zooming out, zooming out, zooming out. Look, this stock has not been around for, for that long, right? Like this was literally day one existence in, in, in the middle of 22, right? This June 23rd, it never existed. The following day, the 24th is where it opened, right? So it's, it's, it's been around for, for a decent amount of time, but not too, too long, right? In the entire existence, we basically struggled to get over that, that 200 moving average. And what we did was we got over it. We went from this hardcore resistance to coming back down, using it as a support and going back up. That right there is a textbook technical move that I promise you, you will see over and over again. Hard resistance, hard resistance, hard resistance, use as support, uptrend and go. That's a, that's a beautiful setup, all right? I love it on a 64 RSI. I love it on a positive MACD. The only thing that's, that's missing here is, is volume, right? We're really close to it, we're really close to it, but we're basically under it, right? And we've been under it pretty much the entirety of this uptrend that started in August, right? I mean, literally look at it. There's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days, basically two weeks, roughly less than two weeks of a, of a two month uptrend, right? So it's interesting to see this thing run. And I use the word run very, 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 like this thing ran, right? Like we went from 70 cents to, to well over double that, right? So um, the fact that it did that without volume is actually a feat of strength to itself. Can you imagine what this would look like if we get the volume, right? So daily is, is holding. I'm gonna come back and talk about the, the candles and the strength. Let's look at this weekly. I think I like this weekly chart the most, all right? The weekly, because again, I was talking about it, we see that same struggle. We've actually literally never, never touched it right? You can see black in between the, the red line and the candles, right? We've never touched the 50 moving average. All of a sudden, in the last three weeks, we get over it, we use it as a support, we hold and we go this week, right? So it really seems like the weekly is strong. The weekly is sitting in a nice place of just nothing, 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 red, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. We might have a nice little green, green, green up to 230. Hey, break the 50, go to the 100, that's, that's a lot higher up than, than, than that 230 number, right? 77 is a little high on the RSI. You know, I generally say 80 is a, a big number, right? So we'll see what the RSI can do. I've definitely seen higher RSIs and hey, I like this MACD. Looks like the MACD is about to get into the positive and go, right? So I'm really liking the weekly. I think this daily is doing really well, like I said, given the volume struggles. Um, the volume popped because of this. The volume, it looks like it's actually going to start kind of coming down a little bit. Maybe as that line gets down to, oh, did this bad boy freeze? Oh, I might have to put in my password real quick. Come on, baby, don't freeze on me. There we go. Cool. Maybe if the volume can come down to about like 6. 7 million, right? You can see the average line is sitting a little closer to 10. If this thing can drop by like 30%, I think that would start to do good things, all right? So I'm still liking Polestar. 
all we're missing is volume, but hey, you can see what this thing can do without volume. And I mean, just look at the chart in general. It basically is a giant red, 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 right? So there are nice channels to move. This one right here, boom, 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 right? This next one up here is even better. Boom, 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 nothing, right? So there's there's reasons to think up here, but Let's just use the 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 indicators, the moving averages, the lines. Let's 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 let the let the targets come naturally, right? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Even if you disagree, oh, I appreciate you so so much.